Hello, this is Story as Radiology and my name is Lee. Today, we are going to discuss this clinical case and answer these questions. If you want to pause this video right now and try to answer these questions by yourself before we move on, it will be great. I'll give you three seconds to do so. Now, let's begin with our first question. And to answer this question, in which side of the brain the tumor is located, we have to know how a CT scan is made. When the patient enters the CT scan, the machine will make several slices on the exoplane, like a knife or a laser sword, cutting the slices of the patient. And when you see the images of a CT scans, it will be like that. like this slice that you can see right now and we can conclude that this is right and this is left now we can see in our ct scan and answer the first question and which side of the brain the tumor is located now it's easy to say that is on the left side Second question, a patient presenting a brain tumor on the left side of his brain and leading to a uncle herniation that compresses the pyramidal tracts on the left side before the decussation will lead to a motor symptoms in which side of the body? Why? To answer these questions, we have to know these motor pathways. These are the corticospinal pathway and the corticobulbar pathway. These tracks originate in the cerebral cortex and carry motor fibers to the spinal cord. They are responsible for the voluntary control of the musculature of the body. To study these pyramidal tracks, we are going to call this little guy here and use our X-ray vision to look inside his body. This is inside his head and this is his spinal cord. The pyramidal tracts will originate on the cortex and its fibers will go all the way down and at this level that we call the pyramidal decussation, these fibers cross the midline and go to the other side of the body. These fibers will still go down and connect to another neuron. And the second neuron will connect to the muscles to establish the muscular contraction. Well, we can conclude that the pyramidal tracts will be responsible for the motor control to the contralateral side of the body. But that's a normal patient. And this is not a normal patient. This patient presents with an epidural hematoma, or maybe a brain tumor, like our patient. And because of the compression of these pathologies, there will be a non herniation through the tentorium compressing directly the brainstem of the same side. There will be a compression of the pyramidal pathway on the same side of the lesion as well. This lesion will turn off this tract before the decussation of the fibers, and as a result, this patient will not have power to contract the muscles of his right side of the body. In conclusion, we say that a lesion on this side will lead to weakness on the contralateral side. Now we can answer our question. A lesion on the left side will lead to symptoms on the right side because of the decussation of the fibers, the pyramidal decussation. Our last question is, is there any known false localizing sign that could lead to these symptoms? And one possible answer here is Callahan phenomenon. We're going to talk about that. So we can see here in this patient highlighted in green, this is the uncus highlighted in blue, this is the brainstem, and highlighted in dark blue, this is the tentorium. So this patient has a brain tumor, and this will lead to an uncle herniation highlighted in green. And this uncle herniation here will compress the brainstem, and this spot here that is the cerebral peduncles will be compressed against the contralateral tentorium. So, this is a normal patient. The corticospinal pathway, the pyramidal tracts of this side will lead to muscular contraction of the contralateral side. In Callahan patient, 
that would be a lesion of this side of the pyramidal tracts, the contralateral pyramidal tract, because of the compression against the free edge of the tentorium. This will turn off these pyramidal tracts, leading to weakness on the same side of the lesion. To sum up, the lesion of this side will lead to a lesion of pyramidal tracts of the contralateral side, and the patient will present weakness on the same side of the lesion. That's why a motor weakness on the same side of the lesion will lead to a false localizing sign, also called Kernel-Hanoch phenomenon.